Hello world, Shelly here, and it's time for something completely different. This is Chris! Hi! <laughs> we are going to do a makeover. We're going to attempt some brows. We are going to do some eyeshadow. It'll be kind of a tutorial. Because what did you say? You don't know how to do the all the crease in the mm -hmm. things. and so all we're gonna, the things. We're going to do the crease in the things. And uh, we got some ColourPop here. And we got, we got some... I think I'm going to try the Jones Road Shimmer Oil on her. She's not as bling as I am. So I will not make her glow to the gods like I would do to myself. <laughs> but we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna go for something. But I do like bling on my fingernails. We do have pretty nails. Ta <laughs> <laughs> I got to redo mine because it's this, look at all that outgrowth. I just did mine yesterday. That's one of my favorite sets she's wearing. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I can't sell it to you. It's retired. But, uh, let me caffeinate. All right, let's do this thing. What did I say? We're going to start with brows, right? Yep, good luck. <laughs> My original plan was I have those Anastasia Beverly Hills brow templates, but I can't find them. I don't know where I put them. So I'm going to attempt a freehand. Now, you know I'm the opposite. I have too much brow hair, so... We're gonna see how this goes. So typically, you start, I'm not gonna draw it on there, I'm just gonna eyeball it. But if you line up your pencil along the edge of your nose, you can kind of see where the inner part of your brow should be. That's also where like if you pluck your brows, you would pluck away anything that is to the inside. I don't, I don't do all that, cause it's too much work, but it gives me a general idea of where on each. And I'm gonna do them kind of simultaneously so that I can watch. Yeah, that's gonna be approximately. I don't wanna go too high, but I don't wanna go too low either. You realize I can't draw to save my life, right? Mm, you probably can do better than I do. To get the outer corner, you kind of follow the edge of your lower lash line to the angle upward. So like your lower lash. Yep, that's about as far as I want to go. This one I just went a little too far. Forgive me my sins. I am not a professional. I might need my cellar water. This stuff stays She's pretty really good, good, though. This stuff stays really good. <clears throat> I'm good on myself, but like... Yeah, I have no idea what I'm doing. Also, hot tip. Q-tips in the Garnier brand... Perfect. So if you just need spot cleanup, Q-tip right in the tip of your micellar water. What's wrong, Ziva? Ziva's like, I want to jump on the chair. So everyone that wants to see Ziva, she's here and she's thinking about jumping on the chair, but she's a little bit nervous. Come on, Ziva. Come on. <laughs> you can jump. There you go. You got it. There Yay. you go. Hi, Ziva. There's Ziva. All right, we're going to keep going and come back to the brows <laughs> if we decide that we need to. Brows. I think it is. I'm just not used to seeing you with brows. <laughs> it could very well be part of this. We went to Atlanta, and for Kendra's wedding, we went and got my all of us got our eyebrows tinted. And when she took mine off, it was like, ah! Because <laughs> <laughs> actually now, it's, I now to that I'm seeing it, scrub it a little bit more. It's like it'll. I think mm -hmm. I think we're gonna be okay. <clears throat> Not great at shaping. Oh, that arch turned out so much better. Why? Why is it always why? Well, what do they say? Like they're cousins, not sisters or twins or I don't know whatever that is. All right, let's do eyes. So this is the Mac Paint Pot in Painterly. It's beautiful for primer. And if I stab your eyeball, let me know. I could use a brush, but it's just easier with fingertips. All right, here's our choices. We have glowing coconuts from ColourPop. 
which is sort of warm toned neutrals, I'm gonna call it. You know what I'm gonna pick. Mm -hmm. Making mauves. I feel like I should have this. Like, I don't think I do, but. Mauvey neutrals. And sparkles. I mean, hello. Like, <laughs> what else would I pick? Like, of course I'm gonna pick that. I also pulled out the Natasha Denona Need a Nude, and I'll show it to you, even though it's way more expensive than ColourPop. But, ooh, it's very pretty. I love that. And it's a lot of the same. Yeah. It's almost like those two had a baby. Yep. Because it's got some of those warmer tones, but it's also got some of the mauvey cooler tones. This is one of my favorites. But we are still waiting for Alter Ego to dupe this. And I don't know anything, but they have given me strong clues that they will be duping this. So when they do, I'll let you know. Mm. Because then it's like 20 bucks instead of, what are these, like 68? Yeah. So this is my new brush holder. It was in the Isle of Shame at Aldi. And it's my favorite thing. So that is what we're going to use for brushes. I swear I cleaned all my brushes for you. So, all right. First lesson. Let's take a look at this palette. So you guys see what we got here. Well, hold it this way. So when you're trying to decide how to do an eye look, I always start with the light transition color that's gonna go from, I should put my face in here, from your crease toward the brow, not all the way up to the brow, but that space in between the crease and there. I start with that one and you don't, there's no rules, like you don't have to start with one or the other. Some people do the dark shades first, but I find I put a light shade down as my transition first because that almost sets your eye primer and makes mm -hmm. it smoother to put everything else on. Then either the second darkest or darkest shade, depending how dark you plan to go, becomes your crease color because you want, as we are a certain age, <laughs> we get puffier on these, that droopy yeah. sort of skin above your crease you want that to recede out of focus. You want it to look lesser. You want it not drawn attention to, right? So a darker matte shade, shimmer brings attention, matte pushes to the background. So we want to push it to the background. So we want dark and we want matte. <laughs> I knocked a foundation bottle, squeezy tube, onto the floor and it's now Ziva's toy. Oh, that's one of the ones I got in Ireland last summer. Cat toy. New toy. So between the shades we have here, now, this would be to me more of a highlight shade because it's like the lightest, lightest. This to me is looking like a transition. This to me is looking like a crease shade. They're both mattes. That one's light enough. That one's a little deeper for the crease. Then on your lid, your outer corner is either going to be the same that you used for the crease or a shade darker. Depends how dramatic you want to go. In this palette, there is nothing darker. So I would say this is what we're going to do for outer corner. And then the other colors that I pick are shimmers on the lid. You can either do one for the whole lid that you've got going on. I usually do two because I'm extra and if you're going to do two, you're picking a light one and a mid-range. <laughs> the cats are very excited that we have a guest. Like, <laughs> Ziva and Charlie are in here right now, and anything you hear, it's them. So in my world, I would say we're either one of those two in the middle of the lid, and then that would be our inner corner. If I was just going to do one, you could really do any of them, but I do like to get lighter to the inner corner, so I'd probably do one of those two. Personally, I shy away from doing a whole lid of anything pink or reddish because then I look like I have pink eye, and that's just on my skin tone, so that might not be a universal <laughs> rule. But I think, since you're wearing some reddish pink, let's do... Let's do the reddish pink as our middle and then the lightest one as the inner third. I usually break it in thirds. 
again, there's no rules here. This is just like my template for how I sit down to do an eye look. And you can do this with any palette. So you're basically looking for a medium and a deep matte and then a light and a medium or a light, medium, dark shimmer. And the other colors would be really if you're just mixing up the tones. So like that shade you could do instead of this one as your transition if you wanted to go more orangey versus more mauvey. Like that's just like a personal mm -hmm. preference. Same with it. Like you could use that as your transition if you wanted this to be a much lighter daytime look and use that as your dark. You know what I'm saying? It's all ranges of light to dark, but all palettes tend, you know, a well curated palette will tend to have these levels of light and dark in the shimmers and the mattes, and so you kind of just pick them that way. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to start, I'm going to start with this one as our transition. You want a, this is my Wayne Goss number three, which he doesn't make anymore, but you want a flat, like fluffy blending brush. It's always just going to focus on your face. When you move in a little bit more, it might focus on you more too. I don't want to focus on my face. You, <laughs> you guys all see my face all the time. <laughs> but her hair's so cute today. I do have my pigtails in. I am bringing back the adult pigtails. That is, that's like I'll wear my, them to work tomorrow. It's my goal in life. Like, so we're going to go into the mauve one. And basically you want to stick it in the socket of your eye. That's why you want like a pointed, pointed blending brush. I start on the outer corner because if you get too much color there, it's okay because that's going to be darker anyway. And then bring it toward the center. Now, I personally don't go all the way into the inner corner. Some people do. My eye shape just doesn't take it and yours is kind of similar to mine. So I'm not going to take it all the way in. Now, the trick here is you want it in your crease and you want it a little bit above the crease. You don't want it all the way above the crease. But when you open your eyes, you want to be able to see it. So do you see how with your eyes open and your eyes rested, you can see it just mm -hmm. above. You almost always go back and have to touch it up because once we get the crease in there, it's going to deepen it and we need to lighten it up. But like sometimes I'll do it and I'll open my eyes and you can't see it because it all went into mm -hmm. the fluffy mm -hmm. smush that is that, I don't even know what to call it, like the hoods, the... It's like hooded lid, but it's also like aging slack. Like, <laughs> I, like, I don't know how to say it, but like it's as I get older, more of that excess is just hanging out instead mm -hmm. of being like sucked up strong. Like, I don't know. Yeah, it is what it is. But start on the outside so that any excess powder gets there. Then bring it in. And also with eyeshadow, it's never done until it's done. So like, you will look like a hot mess before it looks normal. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, you can never judge an eyeshadow look until you get literally the mascara on, like, all the way through. And that's basically just windshield wiper motions, which you can probably tell that that's what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. All right, open. So like on this one, I need a little bit more because it doesn't come quite high enough. And so like when I'm dipping in, I'm only dipping that upper side of the brush that's going to be against the top part of the eye. You're lucky. You don't have spots that like don't hold shadow. I want spots that, that hold everything. But I do have a scar in my eyebrow that doesn't have any anything in it. This color's good on you. So that's your fluffy brush. Then you want a similar, I like the Sigma E25, but I also have, well, I have two of them. I have the Sigma E25 and the, this is one of the Angie brushes, Angie Hot and Flashy A501. These are both suitable for this purpose. Do you see how they're flat? Mm -hmm but they're still fluffy. Mm -hmm. So block your face. There we go. Flat, but fluffy. Because again, you want to be able to anchor it into that fold in your crease so it doesn't spread everywhere. But 
you still want it blended and not like harsh. So we're gonna do that darker shade, that guy. If I could read it, I would tell you. I'm not gonna look every single time. <laughs> I don't know where I put Sherlock. I can't read it. Marquee, Marquee. Now these, I just tap both sides. Boop, 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 boop. You don't want a ton on there because again, it gets harsh, but same thing, start on the outside, tap it into your outer corner. And now this one, you can probably tell the brush is different, mm -hmm. like how it's staying put in that socket. You basically just want to follow your, whatchamacallit, like your skull socket. <laughs> what you, what's that thing called? It's like your eye socket, your eye socket. bone, mm -hmm. like the bone the of bone. your eye socket. You're basically trying to stay like under that, but blend it into what is above that. And it's really just, this is the, this is where the most deepening goes. So it's like hiding your hoods, but it's really just in that socket. If I ever stab your eye too much, tell me. And then, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just take this side. I'm gonna like anchor it into that corner of my eye and I'm just gonna like little circle, circle, circle. Like just to, this is how I start my outer seven to get that depth in the outer corner to push that, that big poof of extra fluff on the outside out of, out of view. So it's like you kind of like stick it in your socket there and you're just wiggling it around in that outer corner and then you just blend it the rest of the way. But you're putting depth right at the outer corner and then V it down. Think of the number seven on the outside of your eye. That is from Nisha at Sugar Puff and Fluff. She coined the outer seven phrase. I will always give her credit for that because everyone talks about an outer V and the seven is what you, if you are not 20 years old with perfectly bouncy eyelids, you need an outer seven and not an outer V. Open. A little more on this side. And you always test it by opening to see what you can see after you've opened your eyes. Because Let's face it, most of the time during the day, your eyes are open. I mean, I don't know, at least I am. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be anyway. This doesn't mean I'm conscious. I am capable of um, functioning while I appear to be conscious, <laughs> when I'm really not. All right. Hmm? A little bit right there. Ah, oh, that helped, huh? Mm-hmm. And now we need a flat brush. This is my Smith 253. It's where we go into shimmers. Now, before I do the shimmer, I'm going to take that same shade we were just using, but on a different brush, it's going to go on differently and just put it in the outer third of the lid. Most of this is going to get covered up by the shimmer, but what it does is gives you base color so that it just looks a little deeper. See, I don't even know like what I'm supposed to tell you like before I, like, I don't know. Am I supposed to tell you things? Like, You're doing great. Not a professional, <laughs> not a professional. But better than me. <laughs> just look at her channel. <laughs> All right, now we'll do the shimmer. We're gonna do that pink one. So pretty. This one looks like it'd be gorgeous with a fingertip too. We might need to do fingertip application on this guy. All right, I'm gonna do fingertip. Gosh, because look how pretty it is with fingers. Oh. Now this came from the, when everyone was doing cut creases, I like to take my light shimmer and do one pass over the top two thirds to like draw the distinction between the crease color that probably got a little lower mm -hmm. and the crease itself. And I'm usually faking it because that's not where my natural crease goes. 
faking it on you too. But it looks good. Yes. Why do I feel like um what's the guy's name in Lord of the Rings, Schmeagle? Hmm. My Wrong per person to ask. My precious. <laughs> oh yeah. But I, is that his name? I don't even know what his name is. All right, base shadow is done. What we do now is we blend and clean up. So the blend and clean up. Do I want a little inner corner? Let's do a little inner corner. Usually you take whatever the lightest shade is, so that's gonna be that guy. This is just some random brush. I don't even know where I got it. It's Crown C513. I use it as my inner corner brush. And this is just to brighten the inner corner. And it actually does at least make me look more awake. Yes. All right, so now, now we clean and blend. You want a flat brush that has no color on it, not flat, a fluffy brush with no color. This is the What's Up Beauty R104. It's very similar to the Wayne Goss number no. three, but it's clean. So you go to your outer corners and just all along the edges, you're just blending to make sure everything, like blend inward and on edges. And it's just to make sure the colors are seamless. Now after you've blended, now you look and say, do I need more color anywhere else? Like did we lose anything? And so what I usually end up doing is coming back in with whatever that original light shade was and touching up just the top of that. Because sometimes your crease, darker crease color will eat up that lighter shade. Your eyes are not much different than mine because my last step, so I usually just take my finger and I run it up the edge. So take, yep, along your outer corner and just, that's a scam call. And you just whoop, just get the, yep, right there and just pull it up. Just, yep, and that's it. Yep, and it just cleans up the, any of the, the outer, She's making me fancy. This is like, you need to go on a date tonight. <laughs> you, you gotta do date night, girl. <laughs> now, mascara. I couldn't find my little wands, but I promise I don't have any eye infections right now. Let me think. I usually, is this, I think this Ooh. is the one I usually use. Yeah, and use. I've only used it once. If, if you um, like, do you like that one? And I will have you put your own what, mascara on. What color on. is this one? Probably black. I use this one at home right now. Have at it. Let's do a little of the Lawless. This is the Forget the Filler. Yeah. I always have to look. Skin Plumping Line Smoothing Perfecting Cream. All those words. It's a moisturizer, but I like it as a primer. Oh, it's pink. I know, and that was never, that's unexpected to me, but it is. It's pink. And it feels so nice on the skin. Ooh, right? And it's so smoothing. And I just use it where I usually put my primer, like my cheeks, my side of my mouth. I'm sure a professional would be using some fancy brush or something, but we don't, we don't need brushes. Like, do you see how it's like, it's not shiny, mm -hmm. but it's like, I don't know. It feels like really it. good. I like it. It's a good one. Mm -hmm. I actually have two of these. One's in here, one lives in my bathroom. Let's do a little bit of the Shimmer Face Oil. We're going to use it kind of like a bronzer. So it comes out. Looks just, there, there we go again. It's not super runny, but it's not thick either. And you really just do it like a, like a liquid. I take it up like I would a bronzer. And then along my cheeks. 
Now it does have shimmer in it, which is why I do this first and then I'll put blush over this because I do want to end up toning down the shimmer a little bit. But it's got a little color to it, so like, it can be like a bronzer slash. I'll take a little bit on. That's just me. I have to put a little on the bridge on the of my nose. nose. Like, it's necessary. And right here? I never did that. Like, the, people the who put the highlight, highlight right on the, the tip, nose. like, that just looks weird and, on me. And is it here, too, that they yeah. do? Yeah. I don't. I don't, you know. <laughs> but, but people do. I just feel like that looks really weird on me. Ooh, that's pretty. You can have a little if you want. You want what little. is that it's, one? So, it's bronzer. And Look how cool that is. That's the essence one. You'd actually probably like this because you have to, um, it's not super pigmented, so you have to layer it up, which makes it easier if you want to not accidentally do too much. Like you, like I go in and just like, and you're still not going to have a ton of product on there. Now you definitely have to go on a date night tonight. My husband's at work. Well, dag nabbit. I'll have a date night with my pugs. Ooh. Even better. <laughs> does, that, does that say anything about my uh, interest in human beings? Animal dates are the best. Boop, boop. A little on the forehead. I still do my forehead even though I have bangs now. We had, we for several months, we had conversations on here about should I do makeup on my forehead even though I have bangs? And I'll... It was like 50-50. Half the people said yes, half the people said no. And I just feel like if for some reason I then put a headband on or something and I had no makeup on my forehead, I would feel weird. So I still do my entire... Oh, a little bronzer like gives you life, mm. girl. <laughs> you got some life. <laughs> I think it's that shimmer. The shimmer face oil I is like so that. good. Yep. It's just a little like... I don't know, something, something, mm -hmm. you know? Although I did get it right under your eyes. There we go. It's just a little, a little something, something. I love this brush. I don't think Wayne Goss makes this one anymore either. It's a zero one. It's good for blush. This is the Elf Rosy something. Always rosy. This one's OG. You know, I've, I've used this one for years. It's just like a... It's not too loud. It goes really well with that mauve eyeshadow. I don't want too much, but I don't... Now, smile! <laughs> this is going to give me apple... Apple cheeks. <laughs> it does a little bit. And now, just like eyeshadow, I then go in with a fluffy brush that has nothing on it and I just blend everything together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that there's not too much of anything anywhere. That shimmer oil is really good on your skin tone. I mean it works on mine, but it's better on yours. I look brighter. It's weird. You would think you're putting like colors onto your face yeah. that it would darken your face, yeah. but no, it like that shimmer oil like lit your face Does up. Does it have different shades or is it all the same? They do have different shades. What is this one? I need Sherlock. I can't read. Where did I, I put my glasses Sherlock? On. Sherlock is right. No. I lost Sherlock. I saw under that nude palette. Oh, yep, you're right. Midas. Midas. I knew it started with an M. Jones Road Midas. Yeah, they have like, I want to say six or seven different shades mm -hmm. of it. And this is actually one of the darker ones, which is probably why it works better on you than it does on me. It works on me, but it's definitely like bronzer on me. But it... What do I want to do to these brows? <laughs> the eternal question. Hmm. I like the bump of this one. That's my favorite thing. <laughs> yeah. That one has one too, but not uh -huh. quite as much. But I think it's because the underneath, I think, is what needs 
Can I reach one again? Oh, you can. I'm so good at my life. I think it's because the lower I did look, I did the bottom line lower on this one. Because your natural brow hair was telling me I had to. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing with makeup, and it took me so long to learn this, and I still obviously struggle with it, is the idea that you don't have to do your makeup with your... You can put the makeup where you want it to be, not where your eye structure tells you to put it. And that I learned from Nikki Tutorials, because if you look at how she does... She has hooded lids like... She has absolutely no definition between her brow and her lashes. Mm, like wow. nothing at all. It do, she, You can't even tell where her skull eye socket bone is. Whatever the name of that bone is, you can't even tell where it is. She literally draws her makeup into her face. Like where she wants it. Because she has no structural thing to... And she's like, no, you just put it where you want it. You want it higher, you put it higher. You want it lower, you put it lower. And I'm like... Like, like mm -hmm. how what mm -hmm. like I thought I had to follow my bone well yeah sometimes it's useful like you're contouring your face it's useful but like not for your when your eyes get all saggy like this do what you want not what your anatomy is telling you so I'm basically gonna just ignore what that brow hair is telling me to do You know, if you look at your lack of brows as actually a lucky thing, that you can put your brows wherever you want them. If I only could do it well, I'll just have to practice. That's it. It's, it's all practice. Mm -hmm. I make this one just a little bit less. I don't want that harsh line. Are they 290s now? I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? I don't think they are. They look a lot more even than they did. I love the little bump. Mm -hmm. People tell me that that's not in style anymore. I don't care. There's no rules in makeup. You do what do you it like. Do what you like. Kind of like fashion, I feel like. Exactly. Totally is. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, this is going to work for you. Alright, ears off. Let's get a final look. Well then... <laughs> I'm trying to like grow my bangs out. Oh so yeah. So they're kind of like they're doing their own thing right now. Yeah, but they have actually, actually have but, a nice curl to them. Yeah. I wish mine would do something normal. Let's see, mine used to look like yours. Mm-hmm. Yep. You had and, you had proper bangs. Yeah. But everybody, tell, all my kids say, "Get your bangs back, mom." Why they don't like your forehead? No. Because I don't have eyebrows. <laughs> Honestly, the one thing, I've been loving having bangs, but when I put my makeup on and I pull my hair back, mm -hmm. I miss my forehead. Like, yeah. I'm, I had no bangs for so long that I, I, I miss my forehead sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I miss my forehead. And these, when you have bangs like this, they're too short to like, mm -hmm. you can't really yeah, do anything up. with mm -hmm. them. No. Nope. And it's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, girl. I like it. Nicely done. I think you need to go out and, uh, God, I love this on you. <laughs> like, seriously, you could wear it without doing the whole rest of your face, I think, and it'd be beautiful. Hmm. This with some mascara. I'm used to the brows. The brow, yeah, I'm used to it mm -hmm. now. And then my other saving grace is the glasses. Yeah, right. These aren't the ones I usually wear. So it doesn't, look, my other glasses hit right at the brow line. Uh-huh. So. But these are a better color match for your mm -hmm. current look. Yeah, they are. The pinkish. <laughs> yep. Unintentionally. Yeah, my recommendation is you need some shimmer. Now, Wet n Wild makes one. Open that top drawer. I think it's here. Yes. All right, so Wet n Wild makes Glow in Love. It is very similar to this. Uh, this shade is a little bit lighter, but uh, if you don't want to spend Jones Road money... Spend some wet and wild money. What shade is this? I thought they had multiple shades. Maybe they didn't. Maybe it's all one shade. But this one's new. They're beautiful. And I think 
it's doing the thing. It's doing whatever. Mm -hmm. It's doing the thing for you. There you have it. My very unprofessional eyeshadow tutorial makeover <laughs> slash. I'm not good at brows. But you did great. But they turned out like mm -hmm. we got there, I think. Mm -hmm. I think we got there. There you have it. An episode, the first and maybe last ever episode. Because <laughs> <laughs> Chris might go home and be like, I'm never doing that again. No, it was fun. <laughs> Someday we'll have to do you with a smoky eye. There you have it. Any questions? Nope. <laughs> Success. As always, thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with us. <laughs> <laughs> I just forget that messed me up. What's what's my ending, you guys? I was gonna say tune in next time, and then I'm like, I never say that. What am I supposed to say? Thanks a lot for taking some time out of your day to geek out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time, and I hope you all have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. Take care of each other. Bye-bye. This is my life. This is, this is my life.